I started graffiti. I started doing graffiti about 1988. For the most part, being an artist, I had that drive to want people to see my work. At the same time, I was surrounded in this whole hip-hop culture. You know, my mother raised me well, so I never, I never got into drugs and, you know, slanging drugs, gang banging. Worst that went down with me was I got into graffiti. Not having the money to get canvases and get real nice, cool paints and stuff like that, you know, to do this fine art looking stuff. I took it, you know, the best way I could, which was I grabbed a can. When I see these guys, you know, they just spraying and, you know, the textures and they make these nice eyes with these cartoon characters and I was like, man, this is what's up right here. I'm about to get get it on for some graffiti right now. You get all hype on it, ah, oh, you know, oh, you see that right there. Oh, I remember doing that, you know. You're in the dark, you can't see. You know, and you only got limited time. So you better have that in your head, you know, and be able to put it on the wall fast enough, you know, and nice enough. Or you're going to get clown for making something looking, you know, nasty. I wasn't even finished with the piece. I, I like, stopped and I said, you know what? I ain't, I'm not down for this no more, man. I'm tired of ripping and running, being chased and always on the low. My mom had passed away, so I was like, mom's really wouldn't, this ain't what, she would want me to be doing. So I stopped, packed all my stuff up, went home. The night after was when I got arrested. It wasn't no big deal because I was pretty much done. They confiscated my peace books and I went to jail. A lady, lady by the name of Linda Gray, she saw my peace book and she saw my sketches. She contacted, I guess, the police department and said, hey, look, I work for the city. I wanted to get this guy to start doing some murals and stuff like that. After I got out of jail, she contacted me and I started doing murals for the city. Hip hop is so big now. It's opening its arms up to so much that, you know, I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm happy that it's growing. Anything that I do is, has that hip hop flair to it. The hip hop culture has grown and I've grown with it. It's just like any, anything else, you know, it grows up. But a lot of kids don't, don't really, they get into it because it's cool. I want to go against the grain. I think it's cool. Like they don't really understand the culture. At night, I'm a tattoo artist. During the day, I run this place. Doing graphic design, what I enjoy doing most would probably be tattoos and, you know, doing legal murals. Anytime that I do a mural, I'm going to use spray paint uh, because I want people to understand that spray cans is a medium 